Let's get right into it. Number 7. Brain Fuel Lies. Picture this. You're standing in front of your pantry at 2 a.m., holding a family-sized bag of neon orange cheese puffs, fully convinced this is basically vegetables. Your brain, meanwhile, is quietly filing a complaint. Because here's the thing, your brain doesn't care about your emotional support snacks. It cares about glucose. Not vibes, not cravings, not whatever that fizzy energy drink promised on the label. It wants clean, steady fuel, and it will absolutely throw an existential tantrum when you feed it junk masquerading as food. Your brain uses about 20% of your daily energy. Yes, 20. It's basically the roommate who never pays rent but uses all the electricity. And the quality of the carbs you eat matters. Slow-burning carbs think oats, whole grains, beans, the stuff you keep pretending you'll cook someday, deliver stable glucose. That stability means clearer thinking, fewer mood swings, and a significantly reduced risk of having a dramatic meltdown over things like tangled headphones. But when you go all in on sugary snacks, your bloodstream becomes a chaotic roller coaster. Glucose spikes, then crashes so hard your brain starts flickering like a discount light bulb. That's why after eating a donut the size of your face, you suddenly can't remember basic words like chair, or why you walked into a room, or what your purpose is as a human being. So, yes, the food you eat absolutely changes your brain. Not in a poetic, whimsical way. In a, feed me correctly or I will make you stupid for the next three hours way. Number 6. The Gut-Brain Drama Imagine your digestive system and your brain in a long-term relationship, not a cute one. More like a messy reality TV couple that keeps breaking up, getting back together, and calling each other toxic. Because your gut and your brain don't just talk, they overshare. Constantly. Inside your gut, live trillions of bacteria, tiny microscopic roommates with big emotional influence. They help create neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, and GABA. So when you eat foods that feed the good bacteria, fermented foods, fiber, yogurt, kimchi, all that tangy stuff you either love or pretend to like on first dates, they reward you by keeping your mood stable, your stress lower, and your brain surprisingly cooperative. But feed those gut bacteria garbage? Oh, they notice. They riot. They hold protests. They release inflammatory molecules that travel straight to your brain like bad news on a bicycle. Suddenly you're anxious for no reason. Your focus collapses and you're spiraling because someone breathed too loudly near you. It's basically psychological sabotage created by your lunch. Scientists call this the gut-brain axis. I call it the universe reminding you that eating nothing but fried food for a week will emotionally destroy you. Number 5. Omega-3 Power-Up Picture your brain as a giant bowl of electrically active pudding. A surprisingly fatty pudding, about 60% fat. In fact, and a good chunk of that fat needs to be omega-3 seconds. These are the A-list nutrients of brain health. The celebrities of the nutrition world, the Beyonce of your bloodstream, omega-3 fatty acids found in salmon, sardines, walnuts, flax seeds, and those weird overpriced chia puddings, people pretend taste good, help keep your brain cells flexible. And flexible brain cells communicate better. They fire faster. They form memories more efficiently. Eating omega-3 seconds is basically like updating your brain's operating system without having to restart anything. When you don't get enough, your brain cells stiffen like cold spaghetti. Signals slow down. Your thinking gets foggy. Your mood gets cranky. You start forgetting things like where you parked your car, your passwords, or the plot of the movie you just watched an hour ago. So no, eating fish once every six months does not count. Your brain needs regular omega-3 seconds if you want it to behave like a functional organ and not a stressed-out IT worker on a Monday morning. Number 4. Protein equals thought fuel. Imagine trying to build a house out of marshmallows. That's basically what your brain is doing when you don't eat enough protein. Proteins break down into amino acids, and those amino acids become neurotransmitters, the tiny chemical gossipers that let your brain cells talk, complain, argue, flirt, all of it. Serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, all the mood, motivation, and focus chemicals you desperately rely on, they all come from amino acids. Which means your brain isn't just politely suggesting you eat protein, it's standing behind you with a clipboard, tapping its foot like an impatient guidance counselor. When you eat solid protein eggs, chicken, tofu, beans, lentils, whatever fits your vibe you give your brain the raw materials to keep you mentally balanced. But skip protein long enough and your brain starts firing off all kinds of strange messages. 
You get irritable. You lose focus. Your motivation shrivels up like a raisin in the sun. Suddenly, even simple tasks feel like Herculean quests. You're staring at an email draft for 45 minutes like it's a riddle from an ancient prophecy. Protein stabilizes your energy, smooths out mood swings, and helps your brain stay alert enough to understand plot twists, respond to texts, and avoid starting arguments you don't have the emotional stamina to finish. Basically, it's brain fuel disguised as food. Number 3. Sugar Brains Some foods trick your brain the way a magician tricks a toddler flashy, distracting, and ultimately disappointing. Sugar is the worst offender. It rushes in like a fun friend who promises a wild night out, then leaves you stranded, confused, and probably dehydrated. Here's how it works. You eat something sweet, maybe a cookie, maybe 12 cookies. Who am I to judge? And your blood sugar spikes like a caffeinated squirrel on a trampoline. Your brain thinks, wow, energy, amazing, let's overachieve today. You feel awake, motivated, slightly invincible. For about 20 minutes, then comes the crash, and it hits with the emotional subtlety of a brick. Suddenly, you're tired, irritable, overthinking every decision you've made since childhood, and deeply aware of gravity. Your focus evaporates. Your mood tanks. You can't decide whether you're hungry or just spiritually empty. Sugar doesn't just mess with energy, it hijacks your reward system. The dopamine spike feels great in the moment, but repeated hits train your brain to crave more, forming habits that look suspiciously like addiction patterns. Before you know it, you're bargaining with yourself at 11 p.m. about whether ice cream technically counts as a dairy serving. Does sugar ruin your brain? Not entirely, but it absolutely plays emotional ping-pong with it. Number 2. Vitamin Deficit Chaos Picture your brain as a high-maintenance celebrity that refuses to work unless all its assistants show up. Those assistants are vitamins, specifically B vitamins, vitamin D, and antioxidants like vitamin C and E. Without them, your brain shuts down faster than your motivation on a Sunday evening. B vitamins help you convert food into energy. Without enough B6, B9, and B12, your neurons basically run on battery saver mode. You feel slow, tired, and confused, not in a poetic lost-in-life way but in a why-did-I-open-the-fridge way. Vitamin D affects mood and inflammation. Low D levels can make everything feel heavier, like your emotions have been dipped in cement. And antioxidants? They protect your brain from oxidative stress, the cellular equivalent of being roasted by the sun, time, and your own metabolism. Eat a diet lacking in vitamins and your brain becomes that co-worker who does the bare minimum, drops the ball, and then somehow blames you for everything. But feed it nutrients, leafy greens, berries, eggs, nuts, sunlight, preferably on your skin, not eaten and it comes back to life with the energy of a caffeinated intern. Vitamins aren't optional. They're the small, invisible workers holding your personality together. Number 1. Mood Food You ever wake up thinking, Today, I'll be productive, and then eat something that instantly transforms you into a confused Victorian child who needs to lie down? That's the emotional power of food. What you eat doesn't just influence your brain. It steers it, like a tiny puppeteer pulling invisible mood strings. Your brain makes neurotransmitters out of the nutrients you eat and that chemical cocktail shapes how you feel. Foods with complex carbs help stabilize serotonin, your calm and balanced chemical. Healthy fats support dopamine, the motivation molecule that decides whether you'll conquer your to-do list or simply stare at it until it becomes abstract art. And protein? That's your emotional infrastructure. Without it, your mood becomes a cheap knockoff of itself. But then there are mood demolition foods. Ultra-processed snacks, for example, are like emotional grenades. They spike inflammation, jackhammer your blood sugar, and confuse the gut bacteria responsible for making a huge chunk of your serotonin. One bad meal won't destroy you, but a pattern of them might leave you wandering around your life like a Wi-Fi signal with one bar. Think of food like emotional software updates. Eat nutrient-dense stuff and your brain runs smoothly. Fewer crashes, fewer existential spirals, fewer dramatic inner monologues about your purpose on Earth at 3 p.m. Eat mostly junk and your brain behaves like a glitchy smartphone that refuses to open apps unless you restart it twice. None of this means you should live like a monk eating quinoa from a wooden bowl. It just means your brain reacts to food the same way it reacts to everything, with dramatic flair, biochemical gossip, and a strong desire to function well if you'd only give it the chance. Your daily meals quietly sculpt your thoughts, your focus, your creativity, your mood, and even your personality, which is both empowering and very rude because now you know your brain is basically a diva that eats its feelings. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.